top of the morning to y'all. What'd you think about that B-roll? It's kind of hard making one of these look cool. I'm not like a B-roll expert, but uh, making something like this look cool is a little difficult. Anyways, we are gonna jump right into today's video. Today's video is all about BM3, everything BM3. The dongle or Wi-Fi adapter, whatever you wanna call it, the BM3 app, and just where BM3 is going. Uh, so this is my 2021 Toyota Supra, and I use BM3. Being that I'm on BM3, I kinda wanted to talk about the app and the adapter and everything about BM3. BM3's come a super long way since it started. I mean, now they have a wireless adapter, they have a app on your phone. They are even working on a platform where we no longer need reflex. They have, they're making their own sort of reflex controller that works directly with like the BM3 software. So that'll be huge for BM3. Like EQTech doesn't do that, MHD doesn't do that. You know, all the other platforms or all the other tuning softwares don't do that. So for a basically one-stop shop for a tuning software will be huge. They've been talking about it for a while, but we'll see how, when it comes out. They haven't really said anything. They just said it's coming soon. They are fixing the final bugs, but they are actively using it on one of their builds. So it is coming. So what this means for us as super owners, B58 Gen 2 owners specifically, uh, just this year they released custom ROM. Now that's huge for us. If you guys don't know what that is, that's map switching on the fly. That's flex fuel, which is huge. Like that's literally the biggest reason people go EcoTech is for flex fuel. Um, if you guys don't know what flex fuel is, that's where like one day I can fill up with 93, the next day I can fill up with E85, the next day 93, and so on and so on. And the tune just calculates it for us. There's a lot more in detail on what that is if you guys want to look into that. But that's huge. And we get rolling anti lag. That is so cool. So no longer brake boosting. So this is my 2021 Toyota Supra. I am actively tuning on BM3 and I have all the goodies and mods. So if you guys don't know, I got the KLM 6.4 turbo kit, running 6466. I have a CSF intake manifold. I'm running port injection with reflex. I have full exhaust. You know, I have all I have all the goodies that you would want when you go big turbo. We will see later in this video talking about the app and the wireless dongle or wireless adapter, whatever you want to call it. This wireless adapter is amazing. It is way more better than using the ethernet cable that we've all come to hate. Uh, and it it's a game changer. I love the custom ability with BM3. I know EQ Tech, you can't really customize uh, as much as BM3, like on a user side. So I can, I can look at a lot of different parameters. I can change my burbles. I can add and remove DTCs that uh, pop up. Like I can remove them myself um, completely from the car, not just, you know, clear the code. Uh, there's many things that you can do with BM3 that I don't think you can do with EQTech, but I feel like the user interface is very good when it comes to BM3 and the stuff that we can do on our side. So let's go ahead and get into the get into this video. All right, first up, let's talk about the BM3 adapter. This is their newest version. Uh, this is the V3. There was a V2A or something like that to where when you left that in the car and locked the car, the alarm would actually go off. It was like a security thing. But this one you can actually leave into the car. Uh, you don't have to worry about taking it out. I leave this plugged in at all times just so I don't forget about it. What's really cool about this adapter though is it's like a all-in-one adapter. So this adapter is compatible with XHP for our transmission tunes. It's compatible with Beamer code um, and anything else that requires a Ethernet cord for us to change parameters on our car. So this is literally a one-stop shop for anything you can want. So I just leave it in the car if I want to swap between different apps. I just use this bad boy. There's an airplane. So what also is really cool about this is there is no need to plug this in to like a computer to update it. This is over the air updates. So what you do is you just plug it into your OBD2 port, you connect it with your phone, and then you go on the app itself and you can select the adapter and update it through your phone. So there's like, you just leave this in your car and it does the rest. The pro tuning freaks literally thought of everything when it comes to this thing. So that's pretty much all the highlights that I could get um, when I was looking at this thing and thinking about this video. So next we're gonna plug this into the car and I'll show you guys basically how to set it up and I'll run you guys through the app and everything that's cool with the app. 
And I'll actually set up a screen recording over here uh, so you guys can watch along. <laughs> All right, so from pretty much here on out, I'm gonna have a screen recording, so I'll kind of walk you guys through it. So first off, we're gonna connect to the BM3 adapter, and you guys can see everything I'm seeing. So this BM3 adapter does run off of Wi-Fi. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the BM3 join, and the password for this, coming closer, boot mod three. Shocking, don't tell anybody, secret. So as you see here, it disconnected. It normally does that, don't worry about that part. Kind of like a, it connects, disconnects, and then reconnects sort of thing. Happens to me every time. All right, so I'm connected to it. So then we will go to the BM3 app, and then you click start, and it's gonna go through some system checks. So you guys will see this happening. All right, and we are back. So as you can see here, when you come to the main screen, uh, after I click start, it does pop up green, showing that we are connected to the car. So we're gonna, this is pretty much the main interface here that I will take you guys through and tell you guys everything about. So you click vehicle, that's what takes you to this main screen here. And then you click dashboard. So this tells you pretty much all your parameters. This screen is what I sit on majority of the time. So what I have set up right now is my boost, my BM3 flex fuel content, my IATs, my air fuel, and my coolant temp. So you can actually go through and change all this. So if you hold it, it brings this screen where you can delete out a uh, parameter and change it to something else if you want. So like I'll change out coolant temp, so that bottom right one. Now I'll click exit at the top and then it opens that spot. So you click that and you can change it to any one of these settings you want. Quite a bit of settings going through kind of fast, I know. So I will turn coolant back on because I do like to monitor that. Uh, so you get back to this screen and then if you just tap it, it brings up this screen. So I tapped boost at the top. So you can change small gate, configure channel. So you have the like parameters, like if you want it to light up, if something's like, hey, this is too high sort of thing, you can do that. So I'll click out of that. I'll click it again. And then you can move gauge, so you can move it around to the screen in different locations if you want, and then you completely remove it if you even wanted to. So this is also the screen where you go if you want to data log. So in the bottom right corner, there's auto log. So you click that, and now I'm logging. It's that easy. So click it again, and we're done. So back up to the top left, live adjust, that is for this. I don't mess with this. Um, this is like your on the fly map changes. I just leave my car on one tune only, but if you guys like to like change tunes, like if you have like a daily tune, a kill tune, you know, whatever, that's what this is. We'll go back, data logs. So this is all your data logs. So for me, this is my last data log I'd sent. This is the KLM 6466 E50. So I had an E50 tune there for a second. So what you can do is on this, you can actually click it where those little dots are. I don't have internet right now because I'm Wi-Fi connected to my wireless dongle. But you can click on that and you can see the entire data log of what your tuner sees and you can scroll through it and you can, you know, if you want to look at it yourself, you can do that. So you can go down here to the bottom right, you can delete all your data logs and you can add a new data log. So if I click add new data log, it brings up this screen and that's where you can upload your own, say like it didn't go through wireless or like over the internet, you can add that in if you saved it. All right, so we go to the Wi-Fi adapter. That is what takes us to this. This is where I said you can update your Wi-Fi adapter. So as you see right here, it says it is up to date. Go to the bottom right corner, you can update the Wi-Fi password so you can change it if you wanted to, but I mean, who's gonna steal your Wi-Fi adapter? Uh, and then firmwares and your leases. So firmware, if you gotta update it, you can click that. If you go down to your maps, this is all of your own maps. All right, so your next screen is your map screen. So this gives you your stock tune. Uh, so we'll talk about this in a second, but this is my custom ROM version of 93, my normal 93, and then my KLM Flex Fuel. So we'll put on the custom ROM one. So you can see right here, this is how you flash a tune. So you would click flash and you'd follow the prompt to do it. I'm not gonna flash it right now. I don't need to flash it, but that's pretty much a walkthrough on how you flash your car. It'll tell you exactly what to do. So you can go in and change the details of it. So you can change the name, the description, all that jazz. Um, I know I don't have internet. Uh, you can copy, delete your tune, yada, yada, yada. 
but you go up to the top right corner, this is where you can change the parameters of your tune. So this part is the cool part. So exhaust burble, we can change the burble of your tune. So OEM, our Supra burbles from factory. Then we have OTS, which is like the OTS version of BMWs. They can do their own thing. Original, honestly don't know what that is, part doesn't matter. You can completely turn off your tunes and you can go to custom tuning. So this is where you get a little spicy. So, oh, shoot, I don't mess that up. Change that back to what it was. Oh, I can't get it. My roommate is in the garage and he opened the garage door to do his little workout. My car's on. <laughs> Good luck, bud. All right, so you can change the settings on your tune here. The duration, duration when you're in sport mode, the aggression, aggression sport mode, minimum speed, maximum speed, minimum RPM, max RPM. And then down here, it kind of breaks it down for you a little bit more. So we'll go back out of that. That was OEM. Uh, GTS Roar. So if you guys watch my video on what my car sounds like, the GTS Roar is that and then drops back down. So if you guys like that, you can turn that on. Uh, next, max cooling mode. So this one's really cool. I have this set up on my car. Uh, you can turn it off so it's back to OEM, but when you turn it on, your car's thermostat is electronic and it opens, I believe 10 degrees Celsius cooler. Yeah, so it opens earlier. So your car just runs cooler all the time, especially when you're in Florida or when you're somewhere where it's hot. This is really, this is really helpful. Next, catalytic heating, cold start. So if you guys don't know on the whole cold start thing, your car will sit there at like 1,500 RPMs and that's to heat up your catalytic converter. So so OEM, that's where you keep that. So I have that off because I don't, oh cats. Uh, EWG, w, EWG disable. So this is your electronic wastegate. I don't have electronic wastegates, so I have this turned off, um, but no OEM and original. Exhaust flap sport. So this is your little flap in the back. So when you turn on sport mode, you know, it opens up that flap. So you get all the extra burbles and you're a little extra loud. So that's what this is for. You got OEM, open, close, and original. Mine are set to open. I also have my car set to where it's always in sport mode. So that part doesn't really matter for me. You guys play Clash of Clans. I'm like a hardcore advocate with Clash of Clans. I'm always on Clash. Um, like everybody in my, at my work is on Clash. So it's kind of cool. Uh, speed limiter. So it's completely off, but you guys can change that if you want. OEM off original um opf ppf i don't think this really has anything to do with us because we don't have diesel so i mean i could be completely wrong there uh yeah we don't have diesel anti-lag customization i've yet to really mess with this but you guys can if you want so you can take it to custom and you can turn on your anti-lag so it'd be anti-lag is on for every single one of my maps and you can change Pretty much all this stuff it's really neat i do want to mess with that that'll probably be a whole separate video of just messing with that anti-lag oh turn that back off so it doesn't keep it on uh throttle response sensitivity it's pretty self-explanatory i have that off as well um i just like the car how it comes so you can change the customability of that <clears throat> oh turn that back off i'm not very good at that uh max boost limiter so you know limit your boost you can set that custom but my my tuner pretty much already has that set so i i just kind of leave it at that he did it for me and torque by gear reduction so just like the name says reduces torque um by gears so yeah leave it at that so my lot the last section on here is the dtc code deactivation so this is huge because this completely removes the code from the car and I can do this myself. So I believe in EQTech, you can't, the tuner has to do it for you, but you can delete that stuff all yourself. So that takes you through that. And then this one you can see says custom ROM converted. So if you go through uh, your performance center and you sent off and you sent off your ECU before custom ROM came out, you have to custom ROM convert your tune to be compatible with custom ROM. So what you would do is you would click on the tune you click down there and then custom ROM convert and it converts it to custom ROM. So then you get all the cool new features. But once I got the custom ROM, I then sent off KLM flex fuel tune and it was already custom ROM enabled. So now you go to diagnostics. This is where you can read your engine codes. 
You can reset your learned adaptions, your exhaust valve actuation, your active sound. Um, this is that stupid thing on when you're driving um, where it puts fake sounds through your car. Don't want that. And then DME ECU functions, just don't touch it. You can reset your, your, your ECU and then you got to send it back off again. So just don't touch the red buttons, all right? Map editor, this is us, this is your tuner. Tuners, this is where you can find all your tuners and this is how you set up. So when you're searching to get a tuner, so like I'm tuned through Sam. So I can click him and then I can request a custom map down through the bottom. So this is how you find your tuner. So whoever you tune through, Payne, um, Sam, you know, whatever. And then transmission, this is where you can mess with your transmission, but I use XHP, so I don't really use that. And then your settings, you can change how it looks, your app theme, um, your gauge sweep colors, and then, yeah, so it's pretty much it for that. Uh, none of that stuff really matters. All right, guys, so that's it for this vehicle. I pretty much went over everything BM3, and I went over through how to do everything, and if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm very responsive. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.